boys and girls, it's Mrs. Smiley. I hope you guys are having a great day. I wanted to share a book with you today, and it's a Valentine's story, and it's called The Day It Rained Hearts by Felicia Bond. Look at all the little hearts falling, just like raindrops or snowflakes would fall. One day, it started raining hearts. And Cornelia Augusta caught one. She caught another. And another. It wasn't very hard, so she caught some more. It must be getting close to Valentine's Day, she thought. And she set to work making Valentine's. The hearts she caught would make perfect cards. Cornelia Augusta saw that all of her hearts were different. She looked at each one from the front, from the back, and the side. And she decided which ones would be just right for each of her friends. She even found seven that were more or less alike, and she strung them together with a needle and thread. See the needle and the thread? I know just the right person for this one, she thought. Then Cornelia Augusta took an especially handsome heart and pasted it on a piece of paper. In the center of the heart, she glued a cotton ball, one that was very white and very soft, and she knew instantly who this card would be for. Cornelia Augusta had eight hearts left. On the largest one, she drew circles and then very carefully cut them out. The other hearts were so small, she arranged all of them on one piece of paper. Around the hearts, she painted patterns of many colors. Then she folded her design in half. There was no doubt in her mind who would receive that one. Cornelia Augusta put a stamp on each of her Valentines. See the stamp goes in the corner, so the man man would or male woman will deliver that for you, the postal worker. And she mailed them. It never rained hearts again. Not where, I got, not where Cordelia Augustus lived anyway. But it didn't matter. Because the next year, look who got the cotton ball one. And the pink, the blue color one. And the next year, and all the years after that, Cornelia Augusta found other ways to make valentines. Can you see the leaves, what shape they are? They're shaped like hearts, too. So this is a fun book, and I went a little quicker than I wanted to through one picture. But here's this beautiful, remember the beautiful Valentine she made with all the colors? And look at Turtle, look at his tummy. Does it remind you of that one? And then look at the bunny. See Bunny's cute little cotton ball? Remember she put the white cotton ball on that one for Bunny? So she really thought a lot about each friend that she wanted to give their val a Valentine to. And she wanted them to be really, really special for that person. Look at the mouse. Can you see the holes in his valentine, just like he has holes in his cheese that he likes to eat? And here's the little dog. Can you see it? Oh, look at the little doggy holding his. His was a necklace of hearts, wasn't it? 
Like he has a dog collar. Maybe she made him a collar of hearts. So each friend got a really, really special Valentine that was just for them. So we are going to be making Valentines this week at school. And at home, you can make your own Valentines. And maybe you can be very creative, just like Cornelia Augusta. But remember, you'll have to look and see if it rings Valentines. I, Mrs. Smiley, I've never seen it rain Valentines. But that would be pretty special, wouldn't it? Okay, so now that you're done with this story, why don't you draw a picture from the story? You could draw it raining Valentines, you could draw Cornelia Augusta making Valentines, or the different characters that she gave the Valentines to, whatever you want to, okay? And then you can write a few sentences to tell me about your picture. Have a great day, boys and girls, and thanks for being such good listeners.